amid the sights, <laughs> sounds, and smells of Seattle's Pike Place Market, there's a less, I think it's gross, appetizing tourist draw tucked away in a nearby alley. Either you're really uh, drawn to it or you're really repelled by it. A little minty, a little uh, fruity. If you want gross, if you want artistic, if you want an invitation to a stranger's wedding, you can find it all on Seattle's gum wall. I like it when people can have some interaction with their surroundings. It's not a stretch to say this is the city's most polarizing tourist attraction. Here, even Billy Shakespeare gets no respect. No surprise that this was named one of the germiest tourist attractions in the entire world. No surprise because you don't know where this stuff has been. But on the other hand, you gotta leave your mark. Yeah. Back in the 70s, people lining up for movies at the Market Theater were asked to get rid of their gum so they wouldn't leave it on their seats. Solution? Stick their wad to the wall. Countless pieces later, it's grown outward and upward to dizzying heights. More than likely, I see a crowd of people uh, on each other's shoulders trying to put their gum at the highest point they can, either hucking it or reaching high. I've heard of people who've licked it, which I think is really, really gross but I just am afraid to touch it. It's not, it's not bad, I mean. Not so Cynthia Daly, who got some residue on her hand before wiping it on her friend. What are you gonna do with that hand now? Um, I'm gonna go wash it thoroughly multiple times. No doubt a feeling shared by many people after they touch Pike Place's less appetizing attraction.